Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a deep clean with me and organize with me. Messy house cleanup. This is real life cleaning motivation right here. We are tackling my bedroom, which was a complete hot mom mess. My living room with all of my daughter's toys that needed to be picked up. I also wanted to do a little bit of a deep rug clean in here. Get all of these little spots cleaned up. Vacuum the couches. I also went into a second day cleaning of deep cleaning my kitchen, organizing some of my cabinets, and finishing out with some outdoor cleaning with some really funny clips added into it. So I hope this gives you guys some good motivation to get things tackled around your house and let's do it. Again, mommy. Okay. Again, mommy. No, not with the sand. No, no, no. Oh goodness. You are a stinker. <laughs> you are hey guys, welcome back. Today I decided to start in my bedroom. I had a lot of laundry as per usual and I just really wanted to make my bed. I didn't want to do too much in here. It's always the least messy of my house just because I'm barely in my bedroom. I remember the days prior to having kids when I would lay in bed all day, but that is certainly no longer my lifestyle. So I do like to get the bed made. It just makes me feel good. And I always like to get the laundry out of the way so it's not on my mind. So I'm just tackling all of this first before I move into more of the deep clean of the living room and my kitchen. Kitchen. This did become a two-day clean with me just because if you have been following me, I mentioned last week that I knew I was going to have a really just more intense week um, this week with um, my nanny having surgery, which actually went really well. She's just a bit immobile right now at the moment, and I just visited her with Maddie. She's become like family, so it was so nice to go see her, and you know, it just felt really uplifting to get that, you know, when you have something weighing on your mind like that, it's just, it feels good to have that part over with. Um, I also just had so much to help out with the family this week, and my daughter is in full-fledged crazy toddler mode, <laughs> where her energy level could rival a rocket ship, I swear. So it's really hard to keep my energy flowing when I have all these other things going on, but I'm really trying and the warm weather really helps me just because my daughter absolutely loves going out in our swimming pool and that keeps mama moving as well. So, but ironically what ended up happening is by the second day of me cleaning this, we hit like kind of a cold front and so I just decided to do some organization as well because when the weather is bad, I'm stuck in the house anyways and I feel like it's the time to get things decluttered. So. I feel like I am constantly talking about the weather lately, but if you are a toddler mom and live in a colder weather climate, you know that you get such little time outside and it's just been all over the place for us. So you should probably check on toddler mamas who have been stuck in the cold for a long time. We're not okay. <laughs> but we're gonna get there. Finally summer's coming back and I just wanted to get these windows cleaned up as well. I just neglect the bedroom so much honestly you guys. I, I never deep clean in here. I need to focus on doing it more. It doesn't need it as often but it just accumulates like any other part of the house would and I just on certain days I finally have had enough of it and decide to do it. So it felt good to get the window sills cleaned up. I just used a regular basic cleaner on that, vacuuming the floors and moving into the living room after that. I had to just pick up this everyday mom mess that's always around. This to me isn't even that bad if you've watched my channel, but that's just because we were spending all day outside. So I figured it was a good day just to wipe down the couches. I didn't want to um, do a you know deep clean on the couches with the wet vacuuming just because even though the weather was decent, it wasn't super warm and I just like doing it when I can open the windows because everything dries so much faster. So I decided to just wipe them down using a little bit of dish soap and then um, 
just using that wet vacuum to do my area rug because I haven't done that in probably over a year and it really needed it. So just doing one step at a time and what I can get accomplished in a day. So after I'm pouring out all of the disgusting water and feeling productive, I am moving into my kitchen to clean up my crock pot. I had made a chicken wing dip for um, us to enjoy um, the night before and I actually left it overnight in the sink which I never do but I was that tired and had that many things going on so don't feel bad if you can't get to something once in a while that just happens. and the dog hair that just comes out of my rugs is just unbelievable all the time but that's just real life and my house is just very lived in so as i am tackling this hot mess of a kitchen here just doing all of the regulars um, cleaning the stove doing the dishes and wiping down the counters for the ending of the first day i figured for story time i just wanted to kind of talk to you guys i know different people do things differently on their channel but I just look at you guys as like a family of friends so something that I've kind of been going through with my daughter um, when she hit about three and a half it's like a you know a flip switched and she became that three major phase and it's been just a difficult um, 
couple of months for me in the sense of like, I have no idea what I'm doing all of a sudden all over again. <laughs> I feel like as a mom, sometimes that just happens where they change and all of a sudden your routines go out the window. The things that worked before don't and you feel like a newbie all over again. And I actually had to pull my daughter from gymnastics class and soccer class. She was in soccer as well. I was trying different things because she just started developing like almost a little bit of anxiety, but also just not wanting to participate in activities. And I was just curious if anybody else went through that at this age. She's um, a little bit over three and a half now, and it started, like I said, around three and a half. She is obviously a lot more vocal and has more opinions now, and which is awesome. And I think it's just that she has so many changes going on in that little mind of hers. Um, that things are new and all of a sudden, you know, she can express when she doesn't like something or when something makes her feel uneasy or if she just purely just, she ain't in the mood, she don't want to do it. So I was just wondering if it, if anyone else has dealt with this and if it's something that, you know, did your kid just grow out of it by the time they hit four or a different age? You know, I think at this age, I don't know whether to push her or not um, is kind of the struggle that I'm having and I kind of did in the beginning where I was trying to keep getting her to go to them but it was just becoming such a hassle that and she was just not having fun it was exhausting me and I, I completely didn't feel like myself for a while because I didn't know what to do and obviously with the passing of my mom um, you know, I just, I don't have her to ask these kind of questions to. And I think I was a little bit nervous because she is going to be going to pre-K in the fall and almost prior, you know, prior to her turning three and a half, even for the first half a year of her being three, she was, you know, little miss social and wanted to do all of these things. And so the change was literally so abrupt, like overnight. And I just didn't know if, if you would push her or try to put her in something else. I was even thinking of maybe just some simple library classes, taking her to playgrounds, just because I'm trying to keep the socialization aspect up because she is going to be going to pre-K. And, you know, it's just a lot. You, you're not sure. I'm not, I'm not the type of mom that always tries to fill things with activities or push her too much. I never will be. Um, but I just want her to be comfortable. And obviously with COVID and everything else that's happened, you know, I'm sure a lot of people can relate that, you know, the kids were already so isolated and she was isolated at such a young age and then going through everything with the passing of my mother. So obviously a lot of things happened and um, I, I just am trying to navigate it the best I can. So I kind of took her out of both of them. I figured why push her right now and I'm just hoping that by keeping her at least in some socialization aspects outside of the home, that that will do the trick and hopefully she can adjust to preschool. But I'm just curious if anyone has gone through it and, you know, what you might have done, you know, to guide them through that time period of life. And, you know, I'm always open to advice. I feel like, you know, we are supposed to have a village and it's like, where the heck is my village? There are no villages to help people anymore, moms in particular. So we're, you know, I feel like this channel kind of always was mine. And that is why I used to like to vlog so much as well. And I kind of did, you know, cleaning one week and vlogging the next. Um, but obviously with YouTube, it just doesn't allow that. So I figured I would you know, maybe on times where I wanted to chat about something, I would just talk about it during my cleaning videos, which I've been doing lately. So also I just want it to be a space that if other moms want to talk about it, you know, I'm here to listen. I don't always have uh, all the perfect advice, but hopefully it's a place where we can all just come together a little bit. And sometimes just hearing other people's struggles makes things just feel more normal. And I'm telling you, you're probably more normal than you think. <laughs> But I didn't even explain that this went into the second day of cleaning when it was really dreary outside and I decided to clean out this cabinet. It was just a mess. Um, I have all of my main cookware, I would say, in here, like the things I use on a daily basis. I have other things I need to go through, but this is where I keep, you know, my main you know, coffee mugs, drinkware, cookware, bakeware in here. And I was getting rid of quite a bit of, of things. There were actually some old like 
uh, baby bottles and even pacifiers in there, um, little cups that I don't use for Maddie anymore, and even some of like uh, cookware and bake pans that I've had for like 10 years that I decided to um, finally get rid of. So that felt so good to clean it up and put everything back together in a much more minimalistic sense. It's 1 a.m. and I ain't tired. I can stand right here and talk all night if you want. I ain't got no place to be. No one's waiting for me. I won't lie, I'm into you. Got like a million ideas what we could do. Cause I'm not gonna let you slip away. I won't waste this. There's something about the way you fix your eyes on me. I can't help myself fall in love. I go crazy. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. What you wanna do now? Should we head back to my place? When you give me that smile, I think my heart's turned up the pace. I don't care about what we do if I get to be with you. What you wanna do now? What's to be afraid of when we're young, stupid, and in love? And so the last part um, of the second day that we decided to do is do some of the cleanup in the yard since it wasn't a perfect sunny day outside. It was kind of in the 60s, so we figured if we can't go swimming and fully enjoy everything, we may as well get some of the painting done around the house and um, just kind of use the power washer to do the driveway, the cars, and the siding. Just get that outdoor cleaning taken care of so that when the weather warms back up next week that we could really enjoy summer. And as you can see, winter just took a havoc on different parts of the house. It just really happens when it gets really cold around around here and um, so John was just taking care of that and I decided to try power washing the siding and you guys watching this clip back while I was editing it had me in tears laughing because I'm always like wow my daughter is so stubborn by nature especially at this age she's in and a lot of my family is stubborn but I never think of myself that way and watching back this clip I realized, oh my goodness, she gets it from me. Get farther back. Here, take my shirt. <laughs> take my shirt. What do I do? Just hold this in? You hold it. Where do you push? You push back, didn't you? Where do I push? You push that whole lot. You push that thing. Hold on, sweetie. It's not getting it. It's not getting it. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Push this. I'll do it. What you wanna do now? Should we head back to my place? When you give me that smile, I think my heart's turned up the pace. I don't care about what we do if I get to be with you. What you wanna do now? What's to be afraid of when we're young, stupid, and in love? When you talk, listen close. There's just something about your voice I think that every word you say to me is like poetry I just want you for my own It's really easy to tell that you're the best girl I've ever known I'm not gonna waste this What you wanna do now? Should we head back to my place? When you give me that smile, I think my heart's turned up the pace I don't care about what we do Forget to be with you. What you wanna do now was to be afraid of when we're young, stupid, and in love. Luckily, my husband likes a strong willed woman, or at least he pretends to. He hasn't run away yet, so that's good. And he's certainly gonna be raising another one. 
Thank you guys for being here with this little chatty clean with me. I just needed it to be kind of fun and relaxing and hopefully uplifting and give you guys a laugh. It's been a hectic week and here's hoping the next one will be a nice relaxing summer clean with me. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. There's a way you fix your eyes on me. I can't help myself fall in love, I go crazy